This is an Oracle Exadata system that I got. Um, it has nine storage servers and three control servers. There's a total of 108 hard drives in here. So each one of these are HGST 8 terabyte SAS hard drive. And 108 of them, so 864 terabytes overall. Um, I'm just gonna go through the specs of these storage servers and the control servers. I don't have the controller storage servers in this frame, uh, but I'll show those in a little bit. All right, so this is the inside of one of the storage servers. Uh, each one of these has 96 terabytes of hard drives, by the way. So 12, 12 hard drives, eight terabytes each. This, it's just a normal Oracle X6-2L. Um, now I don't have everything in the frame uh, because there was four 3.2 terabyte Samsung F320 NVMe SSDs in here, uh, but I already sold all those, so I don't have them in here anymore. Those are actually really impressive. I'll put up a picture of them. Uh, they do about five gigs per second. Uh, I think read, but only two gigs per second, right? Um, and they have a really high endurance rating of 29, uh, I think, petabytes. Yeah, 29 petabytes just because they're TLC and not QLC. So TLC is much more resilient to writing and reading than QLC. And most NVMe SSDs that you get will be QLC or quad layer uh, memory stack. Uh, there's also a 40 gig, not fiber, InfiniBand. Um, each one of these servers has dual E5 2630 V4s and 128 gigs of RAM. It's in 16 gig six. These aren't all that impressive. It's more just, I mean, obviously I've got nine of them. So that's the impressive part. And I think it's got dual platinum uh, thousand watt power supplies. All right, so these are the uh, controller servers. And these would, this is what you do the database operations on. So if you wanted to do something that was intensive, you do it on these CPUs and all this RAM. And you could do a lot of analytics on these rather than doing that on all the storage servers. So storage servers act more as a cache with the NVMe drives. So you could read and write from them really fast and then you do all the, the work that would be done in here. Okay, so this is the controller node. Uh, these are pretty fully specced compared to the other ones. Um, it has an LSI 9361-8i in it. So that's pretty nice RAID controller. Um, it's got 768 gigs of DDR4 RAM. These are all 2,402, and they're in 32 gig sticks. Uh, it's got two E5 2699v4s. Uh, um, and then for the hard drives, I was kind of surprised they didn't go with NVMe's, seeing as how the server supports it, but I don't think the server has to be fast at all. Um, these are all 600 gigabyte 10K hard drives, uh, but it's basically just pretty standard server. And yeah, I'm not sure why they named it Exadata, seeing how there's not a exabyte of data in here, um, and not even a petabyte, though these could be configured for petabytes of storage. I got kind of a mid configuration. There's a, or I guess more mid to high. The medium would be like six servers and two controllers, and then the high would be a full rack, full power of these servers. But I got somewhere in between. Um, of course, it's all up to the, what the customer wants. And these servers would run Oracle Linux server, uh, so they didn't really have a GUI, although I looked through the files and I did find a little bit of, uh, I found some desktop pictures, so maybe at one point they did, but I at least I couldn't get it started. So overall, there were three processing servers and nine storage servers, so that's um, 864 terabytes of hard drive storage overall, and uh, like about like three terabytes of RAM and like 126 terabytes of NVMe flash on there. Um, so it's a pretty, it's a pretty powerful system. 